Hello friends, welcome to a very special limited edition <laughs> reading vlog where I am on vacation. I am going to the beach and I am so, so excited because the beach I'm going to has wild horses. I will reveal where this place is. If you know, you know. And I'm also excited because I am going to try and read two books on this trip. Also, I did get my bangs trimmed, so we are back to our regular scheduled programming uh, after some many months of growth. So I'm currently reading a thriller called You Are Invited by Amanda Jaya Tissa, which is like a wedding themed thriller. So I'm about, how many pages? I'm 65 pages in on this so far, so I have quite a ways to go, but I'm hoping to get this at least read through for part of my trip. And the other book that I'm taking is Beach Read by Emily Henry. It's a perfect read to take to the beach. So I'm planning to just have a lot of relaxing days sitting by the ocean and trying to do as much reading as I can. Yay. So I am about to head out. We have quite a bit of driving to do today. I am the driver. I'm driving the three of us. I'm going with my friend Alicia and our other friend Emily. So it's a fun girls trip. I have to go pick up Emily and Alicia at Alicia's and then we're driving down to the beach. So I have a pretty long day of driving. So this first leg of the trip is going to be mostly just road trip driving footage. And then we have three full days at the beach and I'm very excited for everything that's happening. So I have a ton of stuff. I need to load up the car. I feel like I've overpacked, but you can never be safe enough when you're traveling, I guess, especially when you're not flying and you have restrictions. So hopefully we can fit all our stuff in the car. So let's go. I'm also going to bring this comic book that is not mine. It's George's, but it's The Many Deaths of Layla Starr. He says it's really good good series. So I'm going to take that for, you know, when I just want to read something, but my attention might be very <laughs> low or obscure, and this will be kind of an easy digestible thing to read. So we'll add that with my, with my cue. <laughs>
Hello friends, I am in Chincoteague Island, Virginia. I wanted to do a check-in because it's been a little while, at least it feels it's been a while since we got here and I haven't given any updates on reading or how the trip's going or really anything. So I'm kind of in this little pier area behind our Airbnb which is really nice and the sun is intense right now so I'm gonna try and make this quick. Don't worry, I have my SPF on. This morning we went to go watch the sunrise which was amazing! And yesterday was kind of our first full day here and it was just trying to figure out, you know, <laughs> where we are, what to do. So we did a beach day and then we did the pool and I've just been loving, I've been thriving so much here. This is exactly what I needed. I love the like slow coastal vibes that is here in Chincoteague because Chincoteague is kind of known for being slower paced than like Ocean City, Maryland and it's just where you go to relax and it's not as hustly and bustly so that is perfect for me. I did want to check in on your invited to give an update on how that's going because I have about 130 pages left. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about this book. I feel like it's Either I don't, I'm not really into the story or the characters or it's just hard for me to kind of focus on the book because of being on vacation and everything, but it's not like gripping me, but I do like want to know what's happening because I feel like the plot and the summary we get at the beginning kind of alludes that the main character is is the person who did it. Um, so this is basically about a girl who gets invited to a wedding of her former best friend who is now marrying her ex-boyfriend and there's a lot of family issues going on. It also takes place with like Sri Lanka uh, family. So that's really interesting as well. So she's going to this wedding in Sri Lanka and flying out there and apparently her best friend is missing, maybe she got killed. We're kind of at this point made to believe the main character is the one who did it, but they're also introducing a lot of other characters that make you think they maybe they did it. Um, so at this point I'm kind of like, I think she did it, but there's all these other people who have a vendetta against the the bride and I don't really know what to think. So at least I have that going on for me and I want to know more. The other like interesting part of this book is that it kind of has, each chapter is like the first part is kind of like the story as it's happening and then there's like an interview transcript section where there's like investigators that are interviewing all the people at the wedding to kind of get their side of the story. So we're hearing different sides of the story beyond just the, the narrator who's the main character and that's when we're getting introduced to different suspects in this potential murder investigation. So there's a lot of people who are kind of sus right now. So it's hard to kind of decide who did it, but I feel like for how far I've like, it's I'm more than halfway. There just hasn't been anything intense, like shocking that has happened. I think I last night I finally got to a part where there was finally <laughs> some action. So it's definitely a slow build so far, which I'm not sure. I just, I've been wanting like more action to be happening as I'm reading this. So my goal is to finish it today and then I can start my romance book um, so I can kind of switch out of the thriller into more of a, you know, heartwarming romance type book. But that is my reading update. We're going to go hang out by the pool for the rest of the early morning and probably take a nap later and do some reading. Trade as 
it's our final day at the beach. You're sitting on a pile of blankets. Okay, friends, yesterday I finished your invited and not a fan. It, it, <laughs> unfortunately, I did not really like the book. It felt like a chore to get through and I was happy when I finished. <laughs> I found this Goodreads review and I'll insert it here that kind of sums up my feelings as well. When I read it, I was like, I feel the exact, exact same thing. But there was like zero suspense, really. The beginning, the middle, like the majority of the book was such slow moving. And I feel like once I read the whole book, because it did, it went between different POVs. So we had like our main character and then we had like interview transcripts of all the different guests at the wedding. And then we had the another person and I feel like there could have been an order switch to add to the suspense which is like groundbreaking for the like that would be a groundbreaking thing for this book but that's such a common thing to find in thrillers those are kind of my initial thoughts after having kind of a day or a, a, a sleep on the book and how I feel about it but I, I finished it I did really enjoy that it was set in Sri Lanka and I got to learn about the customs and the culture a little bit more uh, but honestly beyond that just not a really good thriller uh, unfortunately I think I gave it a three stars on Goodreads but after kind of sitting I might downgrade that to a 2.5 uh, I don't think it's worth worth your time unfortunately um, unless you are on a mission to read a bad thriller but with that said we have good news because i have now that i finished that now i've begun to read beach read by emily henry and this is fabulous so far i started it this morning and we were out at the pool for a little bit it is so hot so i came inside and the girls are still out there but i just needed to come inside because my body just can't do it anymore but i've read like 70 pages so far really enjoying it like from the minute I started reading it I was like yes I've been waiting for this so I'm really excited to kind of round out my final day here with this book and then I probably won't finish it while I'm still here. <laughs> 